lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings and now that it's December and winter is coming I think this is a, an ideal time to drink, well for me at least, some Isla whiskey. And today I would like to take you back to Beaumont and when I visited Beaumont in September 2017, mm, this brings back memories whenever I, uh, I open up a bottle of Beaumont. Today this one, the Beaumont number no. one and this can be seen as the entry level malt from Beaumont Distilleries. Uh, it's only been around for a couple of years now, um, uh, the uh, number one. It must not be confused with the number one volts, which is at cask strength and in a much higher price range. But this is their entry level malt, their number one malt, as they say on the label, which is bottled at the drinking strength of 40% ABV. So that's the entry level Beaumont. So that's the one I would like to try with you today. Uh, it says it is uh, matured on first fill bourbon casks and it, uh, ooh, it unlocks uh, the lingering peat smoke. Mm, unlocks lingering peat smoke, that sounds good. As you can see, I've got new glasses with my own logo on them. <laughs> anyway, uh, so the Beaumont number one, the entry level malt from this uh, Isla distillery. And Isla, uh, it's the oldest distillery in Isla, if I'm not mistaken, because it was already founded in 1779. So there you have it. And of course, famous for the number one vaults. And perhaps that's what the number one is referring to as well. Right then, let's give this number one a, uh, a go. Beautiful golden color. Clings to the glass a little bit, not too much. Well, not too bad either. It's gonna be, it's gonna be full bodied malt, I believe. 40% ABV on the nose. Well, it's, it's sweet and fresh with Vanilla and apples. I get some limes and lots of sea salt in there. Oh, it's classic with some smoke in the back. It makes it fresh and accessible though. And it reminds me of the Beaumont small batch, which was around a couple of years ago. It's very much like that one actually on the palate. Actually, it's quite, quite a light-bodied malt, in fact. But it's fruity and sweet, while the, the peat is much more outspoken now on the palate than it was on the nose. And it flirts a bit with tropical notes, in fact, which I quite like. It's, it's got these hints of, of, of lemon, hints of, well, maybe some pineapple, some grapefruit. But it, it does flirt with some tropical hints, which makes it quite lovely, in my opinion. And again, that reminds me also of the small batch. You're not going to tell me this is the small batch with the new label on it, is it? I think not. Well, related. On the finish. Well, the finish is not very long. Actually, it's, it's short, let's be honest. It's a short finish, but not unpleasant. It's, it's a, there's a lovely smokiness there with, with just a touch of mint at the end. Vanilla and citrus again. Uh, it's 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 gone too fast in my opinion. But hey, this is an entry level malt at only forty percent ABV. And again, this is a twin brother to the uh, the Beaumont small batch release that was uh, released a few years ago. But it's very cheap. It's uh, a very affordable, I should say. Cheap is is it's got a bit of a bad bad name there. It's it's a very affordable malt. It is an entry-level malt. So if you have friends uh, coming over for the holidays and they've never had an Isla whiskey, they've never had a Petey whiskey, they say, Ooh, that's not for me, why not give it a go and pour them this Beaumont number one, which really is a very accessible, lovely entry-level malt into, you know, it's a nice, it's a nice uh, uh, entry into Petey whiskey. And that's all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see you at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, May the mob be with you.